it's kind of unsettling, especially because you never really think it's going to happen to your campus until it does. Catching their breath and saying a prayer, people around Columbus are coming to grips with a horrific day. My heart wouldn't stop beating until I knew that um, both of the people that anyone who was involved with this was either apprehended or that they were safe. Tonight, Michelle Pashano says her material science professor is stable. Pashano says he was one of 11 people hurt as OSU student Abdul Artan rammed a car into a crowd and stabbed people with a butcher knife this morning. Investigators say an OSU faculty member, four graduate students and three undergraduate students were victims. I feel really relieved and that's why I came out here with my classmates because I wanted to make sure everyone was safe and I wanted to be with everyone. People from different backgrounds and faiths are sharing a message of unity tonight. I'm here to show my support and uh, my condolences and uh, heartfelt uh, thoughts are with the families, victims. So we are one nation. We are a Bakai family. The community is also sending out a prayer and a thank you for the officer who stopped the attack from getting worse. We are so blessed that he was there um, and came in time to stop the event from getting worse. And we owe a lot of gratitude to him. All right, now investigators say out of the 11 victims, only one person was critically hurt. Certainly a lot of prayers going out for those victims tonight. We're live in Columbus. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.